What is up guys, it's your boy Solam here, back with another Turtle Wow video. So today I'll be highlighting a couple of things that I think Turtle Wow is doing great, and I'll be highlighting some aspects of Turtle Wow that has really been impactful in me actually liking Turtle Wow, and me being so in love with Turtle Wow itself and the experience it provides. Turtle Wow really is doing the impossible, and let me explain that statement, so here we go. Turtle Wow has reignited my passion for vanilla, which I guess was already building up thanks to classic era and also just the I guess play through Classic WoW, Vanilla WoW, then TBC, and now Wrath, enough time has passed to the point where I'm kind of feeling nostalgic about Vanilla once again, and what Turtle WoW is doing great is that it's helping me level up a tiny bit faster, while still not breaking the game or the immersion to the game itself, you feel like you're leveling in the Vanilla universe because you are, you just have a couple of experience modifiers that will help you out, like for example War Mode, which gives you plus 30% but puts you in permanent PvP, so then you can be killed by anyone of the opposite faction basically. Now I'm not using war mode, but I am using the tent for rested experience, so the tent we'll talk more about in just a little bit here. Now Turtle Wow really does one thing great, and that is it brings people together, both on their discord, their forums, the guild chat, the world chat, it's a very social place, and that is another aspect that I really enjoy here. Turtle Wow is really social, and has a massive social focus, you have the world chat, you have the guild chat, you have the auto guild, so you have newcomers for regular players, and you have the still alive guild for hardcore players. And you also have those tents that I just talked about for meetups, so you have tents in Goldshire for Alliance, and you have tents at the crossroads for the Horde, where you meet up and gather rested experience. Now the tent mechanics, for anyone who hasn't watched my video on what Turtle WoW is, the tent mechanic basically increases, it gives you rested experience at a very very rapid pace, so you can stand under a tent for 20 minutes, and now you have maxed out rested experience, so one and a half levels of rested experience. You can also stack tents on top of each other to get that experience even faster, and it basically gives you a meetup location for to meet up, gather the rest of the experience, then go out in the open world and quest once again. I don't know why, but that just gives me a very social feeling when you meet up every two to three hours, like everyone meets up in Goldshire or at the crossroads, then you go out, you hunt for a bit, you do some questing, and when you have burned through that rest of the experience, you meet up once again. It just creates a very social element to the game itself, which I really really personally enjoy. Now the fact is, the social aspect of Turtle WoW is huge and amazing. I guess that kinda depends on who you ask, but there's a bunch of stuff going on both in world chat and in guild chat, and I've heard several instances of people that are just logging on for that social aspect. Like they log on, they talk in guild chat, they don't level up at all, they are just there for the social element, which I understand 100% because I'm usually active in guild chat myself, and it's a very interesting experience, sometimes can be annoying, but hey, that's what you get when there's over a thousand players online chatting at the same time. So next up, they also introduce class balancing, that doesn't make or break any classes, but also at the same time improves every single class and makes it more fun to play and more viable. As an example here, I'm playing a Retribution Paladin this, uh, this time around, I'm leveling one up right now, and as a Retribution Paladin you get access to Crusader Strike at level 8, or level 10, I think it's level 8 though, and it's a reworked version of Crusader Strike that increases their holy damage taken, and you also get a brand new spell called Holy Strike, which deals pure holy damage so it gives you a wombo combo effect as a retribution paladin, and also another example here is as, uh, that as a mage you get access to your crafting food and crafting water even earlier, so there's a bunch of stuff that just helps you level faster and makes for a much smoother experience overall. You also have brand new quests, brand new zones, new dungeons and new raids, basically brand new content in vanilla. It kinda ignites that explorer or adventurer feeling, which is something most of us private server andies or classic wow andies haven't had in quite a while as we usually just play and repeat content. Classic wow or vanilla wow is a solve the game. Every quest is known, you know where the mobs are and you know where to go and what to do. Turtle wow manages to keep the vanilla feeling intact, while also offering you the sense of playing a non-solved game. 
a bunch of quests are not even on the quest helper, so you literally have to read the quest text and explore it in order to find it. And they add new quest mob NPCs, which you need to find, and it manages to make the world of Vanilla WoW feel like an unsolved game, which is a feeling we haven't had in Vanilla WoW since it was first released in 2004. Turtle WoW strikes a perfect balance between new content and the old vanilla content we all know and love. It is not a brand new game, but it's also not just playing vanilla over again. It is very difficult to explain, but through my own playtime here, you just feel like you're in a familiar environment, you have that usual vanilla nostalgia, but you also have the sense of exploring something brand new, because once again, there's brand new quests, there's new zones, there's new dungeons, and there's new raids, and you also have brand new quest hubs, so in a place like Stranglethorn Vale for example, you will have a couple of brand new quests down at the Naga zone all the way south, and you will have some new quests all around the place, like scattered throughout, you also have a brand new profession called survival, which is how you craft tents for example, and you can craft a fishing boat, in which you can sit in your fishing boat when you're fishing. It is really really just fantastic, and I can't explain how this game makes me feel, it just it, it's just a fantastic game that has to be explored, and you will either love it or you won't. Turtle WoW really is growing at a rapid pace right now, like as you can see on the charts, it is growing super fast, like we're looking at early days of nostalgia right here, and if this keeps going, we're going to break some records for Turtle WoW. I think we're close to getting 5k online this weekend, so maybe, maybe the upcoming weekend we can see 5k plus as well, and it's just going on a massive, massive uphill trend right here, and what is really fantastic here is that to my knowledge, I don't think they're sponsoring anyone, so all of this growth is purely organic. It is traveling through word of mouth, people joining the server, being happy about the server, and recommending the server to other players. Even me, for example, I wouldn't make these videos unless I actually thought the server was actually great. So yeah, it's just spreading through word of mouth, people are happy about the server, and they want to share it with their friends. And to be honest, I think we are looking at the early days of what could eventually lead to Classic Plus. If you remember, Nostalrius, for example, eventually led to us getting Classic WoW, even though Blizzard said, you, th you think you do, but you don't. And right now, I think we're in a similar place for Classic Plus, where they are thinking, we think we do, but we don't, or they just think it's too much work for them and too little reward. If we show them, like the growth on Turtle WoW, if we show them there is a significant demand for Classic Plus, maybe we eventually get Classic Plus. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video, talking a little bit more about Turtle WoW, why I love it so much, and the fact that it's doing something that I thought was impossible, mainly keeping Vanilla WoW, like keeping the nostalgic feeling about Vanilla WoW, but also reigniting that passion for it, and introducing brand new content, giving us that explorer feeling of an unsolved game in the Vanilla WoW universe. It is a feeling I don't think we've had for 16 years, like Vanilla WoW has been solved for so long, and now it's basically unsolved again. Either way, once again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider dropping a like down below for the YouTube algorithm. I do think the algorithm li likes those likes, so please consider doing so, and subscribe to the channel for more classic WoW and Turtle WoW content. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon.